What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip boy and I'm coming in with some news about a makeup artist, influencer, Ethan. Um, Ethan is supreme. He is dead at 17. And that is so young, you know, to be, you know, to die. Um, it's just really crazy. You know, this is like, since last week, this is the second death that I talked about. Um about a YouTuber and then I read it earlier about another YouTuber that had died so it's like oh my god I think um that YouTuber I'm talking about was Lloyd's Cafe he he passed away as well so it's like what the heck is going on here so let's go into you know this story many of his friends um and colleagues took their social media to share their heartache um surrounding his death he was only 17 years old okay it says here, the beauty community is mourning the loss of Ethan Peters, who was known as Ethan is Supreme online. Many of the influencers, friends, and colleagues took to their social media to share their heartbreak about his death. At this time, it's unclear the timing of passing and what caused his death. E! News has reached out to the beauty guru, guru's rep. Okay, but according to Ava Louise, who was Ethan's best friend, the makeup artist, was allegedly struggling with an addiction. Okay, and we say allegedly because no one in his camp or family members said anything, but this is his best friend. And she said that he was struggling with an addiction. Okay, and she put out there, my best friend in the entire world, my twin flame, the only person there for me when I had no one, she wrote on Twitter September 5th, which is Saturday. I love you, Ethan. I'm at loss for words. I wish I knew how bad it was. I know that I know what you want me to say to the internet right now, but I'm too heartbroken to say it. Rest in peace. Addiction is a disease. I had to pull Ethan aside in recent weeks and have talks with him about his usage. Everyone close to him was scared. She continued. I just wish I effing tried harder. Okay, so she's confirming that in a way she's putting it out there that he was struggling with some type of drug addiction. Um, and she wished she would have tried harder to help him with that addiction or talk to him. Sometimes when people, you know, you got to understand this. When someone is on drugs, and it depends on the type of drugs that they take, it's hard for them to listen and to comprehend what other people are saying to them okay it's hard so it's not anyone's fault this is something that they have to come to terms with they have to fight for their life for this we can't do it we can only advise them and talk to them Ethan was also well liked and well respected in the beauty industry about a year ago he turned to drugs due to the pressure of being famous online at such a young age Ava shared, adding, he became problematic recently due to the drug-induced mania. He's a good effing person. He didn't deserve to die. I am so lucky to have known you. You gave me so much and helped me with so much. You were, you were a real friend who wanted me to win, she concluded. Oh, man. At 17... That's crazy. That's, that's, he's a baby. He's a baby. Others in the beauty space and YouTube communities forgot about Ethan's passing. Um, many of the makeup artists also expressed on Twitter, I know he's made many, many mistakes, but to say he deserved to pass away is horrible and inhuman. I pray for his family and loved ones. A horrible loss. Um, influencer Grace Ann Auten. She shared to her Instagram, I love you. I can't believe I have to say goodbye so soon. We just talked a couple days ago when you sent me a video of the disposables that had just come in from your visit from your visit here. F. I effing hate it here. I wish I could say more, but there just isn't any words. I love you. I believe you're still here for me. And a host of other people. Um, Cole Carrigan, you know, also says something on Instagram. 
A lot of people had a lot of good things to say about him and they expressed a heartache and heart pain about his passing. He was only 17 and sometimes, you know, everybody can't deal with being famous. Being famous is not for everyone. Um, you may, some people ask for fame, not saying him, but I'm just saying in general, some people want to be famous and sometimes you got to be careful what you ask for because it's a lot of pressure. People, you don't, your privacy is just about gone. Um, you have to watch everything you do. You're under a, like a micro, a microscope. So it's like, you have to really like be careful. And he became famous at a very young age. So he was probably dealing with that. I wish he would have went out and got counseling to how to deal with being famous online. If that's how he felt. And if, if that's the reason why he turned to drugs, allegedly, um, that's what his best friend had said. So, you know, prayers to this family. I could imagine what his family is going through. He is so young. I know they was not ready to, be, to to lay him to rest or even thinking about doing that. It's hard, you know, his mom and dad, you know, to, to bury their child. That must be painful. I don't know what that pain feels like, but as if he had any siblings, siblings, I know what sibling loss feels like. I recently lost my brother. So I know what that feels like. So let me get up out of here. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, Nellie Bell, for AKA I, All Things Now. She sent me this article to talk about on my channel. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And guys, I will talk to you later. Let me know in the comment section how do you feel about this? Um, what are your thoughts? Do you know about? Did you know him? Also, did you follow him on his Instagram and YouTube? So, but. If you didn't, just express, you know, your condolences in the comment section. So, guys, I'm out. You have a great day. This um, fountain is getting on my nerves. So, yeah. Later, guys.